Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a new series and building our first zoo in Planet Zoo in sandbox mode. I have done the career zoos already, but we will be starting a brand new zoo and we will be going to Temperate in North America just because that's a pretty flat and easy terrain. And today in this video we will be building the zoo entrance. That's going to be the focus today. And this was live streamed over at my Twitch, twitch.tv slash randomcordelia if you'd like to check out the full stream. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okie dokie. Like I said, it's very, very intimidating. But I think the first thing we're going to do is like make a river through the zoo. Just because... I've been looking up some things that you should do, and if you're gonna want terrain, you're gonna want to do it first. So I think I'm gonna do like a river and then like a few like branching streams. I think would look pretty cool. So let's go into terrain. I don't know if we're gonna do any like actual animals and stuff today, just because I kind of want to like get the base structure down. That or is it flat into a foundation? That is a. Actually, that's not too bad. For a river size, that's not bad. But I also want to do some like terrain and stuff like hills. Because I'm not a builder. <laughs> In Planet Zoo, I'm not very- that stuff is kind of intimidating for me. I- I get overwhelmed. So I think my best bet is to go with like the terrain being really nice. idea for what I'm doing? No, we are winging it 110%. And you know what? That's alright. Winging things is okay on occasion. I'm really unsure of what I want to do for like my ent zoo entrance because there are just so many ways you could go about doing it. I also don't think these are deep enough. I think if we do all the terrain and then like modify everything else around it, it'll give it a lot more of a natural feel because that's, I mean, that's how zoos work. This is, this is longer, it'll be a bit deeper. So I don't really know how I want to start this beyond what I'm doing right now because every zoo is different. Like most zoos in the front of the zoo and whatnot would be a petting zoo like the national zoo in dc they start in you start in a petting zoo my one of the zoos that i used to intern in theirs was a petting zoo as well so might be a while. It's a lot of water for it to render. <laughs> so I'm not upset that it took a little bit. Okay, that I'm gonna need to fix. This I need to do. Did that 
fix my other problem area is awesome. Okay, now, I don't know if I want to smooth out this riverbank or not. I probably should. Okay, so it's not like a pit. But at the same time, it also can be used as a natural barrier, so I don't know if I really want to. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. So that's our waterway. Is that the prettiest? No, but you know, it's a start. I also don't know where there's the zoo entrance. <laughs> like, I don't know where the zoo entrance is anymore. I want to do some just like hills. I don't want to do like mountains or anything because that's probably a bit excessive. But like just hills. There are zoos built on mountains. We could do it. This is the most pathetic. But actually that does kind of give it a bit of a natural feel that not, it's not perfectly flat. There's a bit of something. Like back here, the hills would be greater. But let's see how that works out. It's not a hundred percent flat. I mean, it's still pretty flat. Why is it getting nighttime? Daytime, sorry. No, I was right the first time. Jeez. So I'm not quite sure what species I want to. Well, let's just do. The, let's work on the plaza. I think that's gonna be my main goal. So I think my goal is going to be to make this plaza area. So we need to figure out what type of path we want. I kind of, I've never used these before and I really like those paths. I mean, I can always change. Yeah, I think I'm going to start with this. I wish I could go back that way. thing in the center. I think I'm gonna go for like a classic zoo just because it is my first zoo. But I think the fountain area should be like around here. So let's bring everything else out a bit. So let's see what we've got. I've never touched these things so this is the first time I'm really looking at this stuff. That is the classical fountain. It's all right. So that's what that one looks like. That one's small. This one might, mm, that's definitely too small. I like this one. So let's try to get it as centered as possible. That looks about good. Now again, I have never done this before. I kind of want to just grab one of the other. Cause I did see a fountain in here just to give me like a baseline. Where'd it go? There was a fountain. This is what the baseline was. That's not going to stay there. We could do square. No, they are way too small. Oh, never mind. You go, you go away. So that would be. We're kind of sort of recreating that, but not fully. 
can you stick out the bottom? A little bit. Do we have any better ones? Yeah, that's not happening. Let's do this one. It kind of sticks out, but that's all right. I could cover that up. Then I could add a statue on top. I also wanted to add some other statues. Oh, these would be nice to have along the side of the fountain. These small ones. Giraffe calf. It says giraffe, but it's a giraffe calf, in my opinion. It's not that big. Actually, I might do the... Yeah, because these kind of just look stupid. I don't like them that much. Let's do the elephant calf. Or let's do the actual elephant because it kind of just brings the size in a bit more. Even though it is also, for some reason, much larger. Okay, this stone, no, it's, it's wood just like the other one, okay. Or, better idea, the calf stays on this side. You could line the perimeter in these African daisies. That would, that would stay on the other side. Mainly just because I've never used them before and they add a pop of color. I don't really want to add any trees because I feel like it would block the view. But we need some like bushes or something just to stand up a bit. And fill this space in. I might do like a few of these just in the corners. I say corners like it, it's, a, it's a fountain. It doesn't have, it's, it's round. But I think y'all get what I mean. They're, not all, they're also not lined up. Let's try the is there a Japanese maple? Here there are. They tend to be pretty short, yeah. And they're very vibrant. I said no trees, but we needed something. We needed something to fit in here, and I'd have to do wrap bamboo, not bamboo, ivy around the back. No, thank you. You are very bright. Is there a way to, like... You are too bright, my friend. We could also put... Do we have any flat ones? I kind of just want to see what it looks like. That actually doesn't look bad, I'm going to be honest with you. It makes these unnecessary. But it doesn't look bad, so I'm going to keep it like that. It's not perfect, but I think it actually looks pretty decent. Let's jump over here and grab some facilities. I think we're gonna go with the classic and new world. All the classic themes are awful. What is this? That's ugly. No, we're going with New World. Shops. So we're gonna do the information centers on both sides. I don't like that the arrow is pointing the other direction. <laughs> Back. 
slide these over top. I know. I wish I had done that. Unfortunately, it means I have to try to get this to line up, which is not going to be easy. No clipping. Okay. It's not perfect, but you know what? It'll do. It will do. Better. Perfect? Probably not, but better. I know that these are also probably not lined up, but they're pretty close. So we go in, the first thing we see is this little... Oh no. I really wish there was like a walking mode for this. I think there was for Super Tycoon. Because this is just not as nice. But yeah, I liked it. I like the centerpiece a lot. And I'm probably going to end off there. I know we didn't get to any animals today. That's all right. Spent about an hour on this. I might do some work off camera to fix up this ivy situation. I'm not a fan of the ivy. But, yeah. So we, this is going to do it for tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.